What are you doing this Friday night? Well, if you're not quite sure what kind of family activity you're going to have, have going this weekend, we have the perfect suggestion for you. Hello, Magic Makers. You're watching Creative Clara's Enchanting Childhood YouTube channel, where we're helping you to bring a bit of magic to your family's daily life. Why not give an indoor drive-in a try this winter? Drive-ins were originally created back in 1933 when the first one was launched in um, New Jersey, I believe it was. And while these were a summertime activity, um, they can be moved indoors for a great activity for your kids. Cost and preparation time is not so bad on this one. You've got to have a couple of boxes, cardboard boxes on hand. That's a great use for those extra packing boxes for the holiday shipping. Um, preparation time it can be done under 30 minutes. Most of that's going to be food preparation time. The activity itself takes a good three hours or so. Like most things, you can choose to be fairly simple with this activity or you can go more extravagant and elaborate in your plannings for this. Um, supplies that you need are going to be a cardboard box and a pillow for each child. Now these cardboard boxes should be big enough for the kids to sit in, for <laughs> one box for ch per child. You'll also want some markers and other art supplies and some back black paper plates. What you're going to do is you're going to affix the black paper plates onto the outside of the boxes to form the wheels. And if you choose, you can also put one on the front inside to be your steering column. Um, and then what we're going to do is unleash the kids' creativity, let them color all over those boxes, you know, just decorate their vehicles however they want to. We're going to select some classic family movies, and I have a few suggestions for you shortly. And then we also, if you would like, you can have some drive-in intermission commercials. You can actually get those online, um, real commercials that were used during the era of drive-in movies. We'll have some snack bar foods. And then if you would like, you could have dress-up clothes related to the era of the movies you're, you're showing. Um, you could do little paper tickets if you wanted to. And then you could also give each person a flashlight and keep the lights off. Um, because after all, if you're at the drive-in movies, you're probably going to need a flashlight to make your way to the snack bar. Let's talk for a second about the snack bar itself. You know, I'm a big proponent of incorporating healthy snacks within our activities. Uh, we want kids to associate those healthy foods with fun and get them away from all those sugary treats. Um, sliders are a great food to um, serve during this activity. Sliders are mini hamburgers. Um, you can also top them, of course, with, you know, tomatoes and, and lettuce and things like that to incorporate some more uh, veggies. Um, popcorn can be good if you air pop the popcorn. Maybe add a little olive oil in there and then sprinkle it with some fav favorite seasonings, um, a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Um, for me, I love a little chili powder on there, but that might not be suited to your kids' tastes. Fizzy juice. Uh, I'm not a big fan of soda pops. Don't think those chemicals are so good, but what you could do is take a little fresh squeezed juice and combine it with some fizzy water, some carbonated water, and have fizzy juice instead. You could do a few pretzels, uh, fresh fruit drizzled with dark chocolate, apples, celeries, other you know produce items with nut butters, uh, deviled eggs, veggies and hummus, cheese and whole grain crackers, kale chips, yogurt and granola, you know, all kinds of great and healthy um, snacks are available that the kids can enjoy during this activity. Of course, um, as far as the actual movie itself goes, this is a great time to get your kids familiar with some of the classic films that they should know. Um, of course, there are the animation classics, the Disney, the Pixar. Um, there's Wizard of Oz, The Princess Bride, E.T., Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Sound of Music, Karate Kid, The Herbie Movies, Swiss Family Robinson, and then of course the Haley Mill classics like The Parent Trap, um, Pollyanna, and so on. 
Okay, so then of course the idea for this film is that you t have the kids um, take some time to decorate their cars. You um, maybe have them get involved in preparing the snack bar foods. That's up to you. And then you gather the family together, turn off all those lights, give the kids a flashlight, and then you play your classic film and enjoy that together. Um, take an intermission partway through, go get some snacks, um, maybe watch some classic commercials, and then come back together again um, to finish your movie night. We hope you enjoy this idea. Please be sure to add your comments in the section below, and be sure to look in our posted comments for links to great resources for films um, and other ideas related to this topic. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for more great videos.